So the Bhima Koregaon hearing has concluded for the day and Sharath Pawar in fact deposed before the commission as a witness and also made several suggestions to the commission. All the cross examination is over and has been done for the day. My colleague Abhishek now joins me for the uh, more details on this story. Okay, I'm told uh, that uh, we have lost that link with Abhishek. We will uh, go back to him, try and get a sense of what really happened as far as uh, this particular hearing that is just about concluded is concerned. Uh, Abhishek is back with me on the broadcast. Yes, Abhishek, just take us through what really happened. Uh, Sharath Pawar deposed before the commission. What really on suit? Yes, uh, the deposition has been completed before the Bhima Koregao Commission and uh, several important uh, cross-examination happened today and several important suggestions were uh, uh, given by Mr. Sharath Pawar to the Commission and he also made several uh, important points. You know, first, he, he highlighted that the entire violence uh, took place because of the uh, the police machinery because it, uh, it couldn't uh, efficiently do their work at that point of time. One important thing which he highlighted, he clearly said that, you know, there are the two different things because Bhima Koregao is a separate incident that took place on 1st of January 2018. At the same time, on 31st of December 2017, Algar Parishad took place. So these are the two separate things, should not be linked together. And as far as Algar Parishad is concerned, he clearly said that, you know, those people who were not present in the Parishad, they were also being booked. So this also was highlighted by Mr. Sharad Pawar. And importantly, he again reiterated his stand before the commission on Article 20, 124A of sedition, where he clearly said that, you know, this article is being, uh, the section of IPC 124A sedition is being misused and abused by the government in power and definitely this needs to be repealed or this needs to be amended. And being a member of Rajya Sabha, I will take this issue in the parliament and things needs to be done in this regard. And one important thing he also highlighted was in the uh, commission when the questions and cross-examination was took place, he was asked, what do you feel, what is the definition of anti-national and uh, these things which are being raised. He clearly said that, you know, any people, any person in the country who under the ambit of Constitution of India and parliamentary democracy is making a speech, you know, should not be booked and should not be termed as an anti-national. So there were several important, uh, you know, uh, answers which he gave as a witness uh, to the commission. At the same time, to resolve the entire Bhima Koregao, the Vijay Stam, the war memorial issue, he clearly gave a good suggestion, suggesting that, you know, an, an separate war memorial can be built over there. And that should be first, uh, the land over there should be taken over by the state government of Maharashtra. A trust should be formed. And accordingly, the entire controversy should be rest to peace. So that's the, re these are the all development that, you know, since morning, uh, 11 a.m., okay. Till 5 a.m. Uh, p.m. He was before the commission and several important things uh, he suggested and answered the cross-question and examination done by different advocates of the witnesses which were present today. Back to you. Right. Uh, right, Abhishek. Thank you so much for joining us with all those details there. Shifting